While you fired up Safari for the second time this year to watch Apple's event, you may have missed the pizza delivery boy of your robot dreams, controlling famous faces with barely a glitch in the matrix and the drone that can live underwater. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we greeted Apple's announcements yesterday by getting sick and sleeping all day. Missed you. Normally, when someone talks about Krakens, my mind goes full Johnny Depp, piratey terror style. It's only natural. However, the Applied Physics Lab at Johns Hopkins has another thing in mind. Krakens, the corrosion-resistant, aerial, covert, unmanned nautical system. This unmanned vehicle hangs out underwater when not in use, but can launch into the sky or depths of the abyss depending on what the mission calls for. It's designed to launch from a submarine or fixed way station, and its motors have anti-corrosive coatings to protect against salt water. The thing we're curious about is how underwater animals will take to the new intruder and whether it will be similar to how birds feel about drones. They don't like them. Celebrities face swapping Leonardo DiCaprio is old hat now that researchers have demonstrated face manipulation in real time. Basically, anyone can put words in Jim Carrey's mouth with an off-the-shelf webcam. The mouth mapping system uses the camera to create a 3D model of a face, then replicates those facial movements in a piece of target footage. The creators showed they could puppet face everyone from former President Bush, Vladimir Putin, and Donald Trump, but isn't that what the Illuminati does every day anyways? Thankfully, the project is so far just a proof of concept. Or is it? Oh no! the robots are coming for a 15-year-old boy's first jobs. Domino's recently debuted an autonomous delivery system dubbed the Drew, that's Domino's robotic unit. The 450-pound droid scuttles around at speeds topping 12 miles per hour while keeping your saw piping hot in its heated cargo bay. Drew uses GPS to navigate through neighborhoods while automatically avoiding obstacles. Once it reaches your door, you simply type in an access code to open it up. Plus, if it ever breaks down en route to a delivery, Domino's could always hire this team of tinier robots to tow it back home, real slowly. You might know Seiko is the affordable-ish watch company you've never really thought about. However, the watchmaker just used 1,200 individual mechanical watch parts to build the world's tiniest Rube Goldberg machine. Some of the parts are 0.7 millimeters in size, so that's why they justify helping it along sometimes with tweezers. So high, I 